Hey, many fish. It's the 6th of February, 2018. And this is still on my browser. And this morning, strange things again, folks. But this is absolutely <laughs> unbelievable what I got to show you here. What was literally revealed to me this morning is just mind-boggling. And I'm just trying to, like, calm myself so I can be a little concise and understandable in the whole shebang you know what i mean so you know we had our halftime show we're all aware of the purple the viking purple um there were videos made about the stadium a little bit they got a dragon outside of it uh, god's gifts did a video pointing that out you should go check that out and the halftime show is always the big ritual everybody knows that and they pulled it off for sure and you know the purple you need to understand the purple is just a representation of god it in this being used in the way that it is is a mocking of god this is the spirit of satan that rules over the flesh you know it, again and again and again i tell you it's a spiritual war that we are in and if you don't realize that and recognize it then you know you're not in the war and you will just be fodder I mean, quite literally just led to the slaughter. Okay, you need to recognize the, the wickedness in this world. Rebuke it. Turn from it. Repent from it. I'm just telling you. Because what this is showing right here is without a doubt, un unequivocally, Satan clearly stating to the world and virtually the biggest venue in the world that he has arrived he is here and he is going to rule that's what this is saying this one scene sums it all up what watch this for a second now notice how he raises his arms up and they come to an outside aerial view look at this stadium what do you see this my friends and i cannot put it any other way you're looking at satan's tabernacle on earth that's what you're looking at it was just shown to me and boom it's like that's what it is that's what it represents show that to your to your uh youtube people <laughs> literally told me that i mean it's like well i shouldn't say literally it's not like i hear voices but you guys know what i mean and then it portrays this symbol that was unique to prince now you know i can't stress enough i don't know prince i never knew prince prince probably was a good guy you know what i mean but he was snared into this deception of this world with his talents that he wanted to express he was taken advantage of and used simple as that that's how this spirit works that's how it works in men for millennia folks this has been going on since the day we were booted out of the garden okay it's the enmity all right that symbol right there it's called the unpronounceable symbol later dubbed the love symbol because as long as everybody says they love everybody, you know, as long as you say, I love the world, I want to get along with the world, then it's okay to hate the people who don't love the way that you love. Do you see? You see the kind of predicament you're in? It's, it's a snake eating its own tail. It's cannibalistic. And it's, it's a house divided. That's what it is. And Satan is claiming this to be his house and sooner or not sooner than later you're gonna start at having to play by his rules because that's how it works we didn't want to play by god's rules we didn't want to listen to god so satan was given free reign that's how it works folks and until you repent from it you are exiled you are not getting back to where you belong. And that's in that place that you know in the pit of your belly, that place of peace that you're able to find once in a while out in the woods or at the ocean. That's real. That is where you truly belong. Void of this wicked deceit and lie. 
Jesus. So, yeah, they went through all the building of this stadium and everything just for this one event, this revealing for the whole world to see. The spirit of Satan has left the tabernacle. And this symbol is nothing less, nothing less than representing the Baphomet. Because that's all it is. Now, we could get into the whole symbol, you know, stuff. But that's what this symbol is, okay? There's a million different things. But it's the male, female combined. Again, you have the circle and then you have this here, which is very, very closely related to your uh, Eye of Horus. Your, it's all connected, you guys. I mean, it's all connected. We could go on and on and on about this. But this is the main thing I wanted to show you. This is what needed to be put out there. Satan's tabernacle has been opened. And that spirit is just pouring out. Okay? Now, if you want to go along with this whole, you know, LBQ, homosexual, do without wilt uh, mentality, this lascivious liberty, there's no legitimacy to it whatsoever. That's the choice you need to make. And you need to make it soon. Because it is on. This is no joke. Father lies, the prince of darkness. He has arrived. And they merely use this poor man who went through his life in the flesh. Entertaining and trying to do the best he could, I'm sure. But he succumbed to it. And they used him and threw him out like a wet napkin. Because that's what it does. Okay? Seek Jesus. He's the only way. Before it's too late. Because one day it will be. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 